Hello, my friends. I have an extremely huge and exciting announcement for all of you today. As of right now, right this very second, I will be changing the content of this channel to cooking tutorials. Yes, I am serious. My true passion in life is cooking. Chef Kazam! Kazam! Now, people are always asking me, Alex, how do I cook? Today I'm going to answer that very question for everybody. So stay tuned. Alrighty. Every good chef knows that presentation is key when it comes to cooking. I'm not talking about the food, I'm talking about me! You always want to make sure you are looking your best when you cook. Dress, Dress for success! success. Alrighty, now that you are looking freaking sexy, it's time to move on to the next point. What to cook? Now you can cook anything from a nice turkey roast to baked Alabama. It's baked Alaska! Well, excuse me, I am a master chef, not a geography expert. Now get out! 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 I will not have rats in my kitchen. Now, what we are going to cook today is a nice classic chocolate cake. We're, We're making, making a delicious, delicious, delicious cake. cake! Now that you have your recipe for your cake, you need to gather your ingredients. As a master chef, only the most fine and exotic ingredients will do. And as all chefs know, getting the right ingredients can be a challenge, especially when you're getting these ingredients from people you don't even know. So as a master chef, you need to know where to find the right ingredients. Out in the wild. That way, you can control what goes into your food and to make sure you are getting everything at its freshest. Now my chocolate cake recipe calls for butter, flour, vanilla, eggs, baking powder, milk, sugar, and salt. Now as you can see, I have run out of a few ingredients. Milk, eggs, and flour. Now out of sheer luck, all of these ingredients can be easily found in the wild and all at one place. A local farm. Now unfortunately, all the milking cows have been slaughtered for McDonald's hamburgers. So we'll have to get milk from our next best thing. Goats. <laughs> Now that we have our milk, we need to grab some eggs. But unfortunately, all the chickens have been slaughtered for McNuggets. We'll have to get our eggs from the next best thing, an eggplant tree. If you ever wondered where the name eggplant comes from, it's because if you cut the top off, you'll see a nice white egg in the center. <music> Flour is the easiest item on our list, but it's also where people mess up the most. You need to get nice white flowers. Red or yellow flowers simply won't do. That's why you get your flower from daisies. However, they aren't ready to use in this form. You need to pluck all of the petals and put them in a blender. Now you got some nice fine flour ready to use. It's, it's time, time to, to cook. cook! Now that we have all our ingredients, you want to make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Preheat the oven to 325. Now you need to add all the ingredients together. However, most chefs fail to do one simple thing to make their food better. Turn on some rad tunes while they prepare the cake. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go, going the way you planned the door. Now you gotta remember that eggs can carry a pretty nasty disease, schizophrenia. Be sure not to touch the egg whites or, ah, and just like that, scoliosis. Now it's important that you wash off all the smallpox before you continue, or everything else will be infected with sign language. It's salmonella! Eggs have salmonella! No, that's what fish have. Out, get out! I need to set more traps. Now, now it's ready, ready to bake. bake! Shove that sucker in the oven. 
Now go reward your hard work with some soap operas. Where are you in my life? I think I'll go back to being Alex Kazam. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you have a wonderful day.